Hello, this is Norwich Up, and welcome to the second episode of Ultimate Fantasy Football. And this is the results show for game week number one. So we're going to be announcing how many points I managed to get, and then VFB will be in this video talking about how many points he managed to get, and we'll see who got the most points for this game week. So it's going to be quite an exciting video. Hopefully, I can try and win because it'll be good to get off to a great start. But let's get into the team. So starting off with my captain, I've gone for Neuer. Now Neuer plays, of course, for Bayern Munich, and it's probably one of the best choices that I did pick in this series because Bayern just rarely concede goals so Neuer managed to get me 12 points this week because he kept a clean sheet he played the full game which is six points then captains get you double points so Neuer got me 12 points in total so well played to Neuer and to Bayern unfortunately though the left back David Alaba didn't play I think he was probably rested for their game up against Arsenal so we need to sub in another Bayern Munich player which is Dante so we sub him in and Dante he played extremely well. He got a goal and, of course, that clean sheet, and he did play the full game. So that is already 12 points. We did get a yellow card, which is minus one point. So Dante gets me 11 points. So Dante and Noor are doing great work for me. They're the two Bayern players. So going to the right back now, I did choose Michael. Now, Michael, of course, plays for Roma in the Serie A. Now, Michael managed to get me six points. He kept a clean sheet in Roma's 3-0 win. And, of course, he played the full game. So that's six points, two for the full game and four for the clean sheet. So Mykon and the defenders doing well for me. Onto the right centre back, I chose Basong. What a stupid choice that was because Basong conceded two goals. It wasn't really his fault or the defenders' fault. They scored, West Ham scored from a, um, a free kick and then they scored right at the end of the game on a counter attack. But Basong gets me one point, which is a shame. And yeah, I'm probably going to be summing out. So make sure to check out the third episode of the series on Friday where I'm going to make some transfers. I'm allowed to make two transfers, so check out that video on Friday. On to the left centre back though, and this is a little bit better because, of course, PSG kept a clean sheet in their 3 0 victory, and that means that Tilka Silva gets me five points. He did get a yellow card though, so that's why he does get that minus one point. So let's go on to the midfielders now. We went for firstly Matuidi. Unfortunately, though, Matuidi was arrested for PSG's. Champions League game up against Bayer Leverkusen so that means we need to sub in Leroy Fur and yes he plays for Norwich so he didn't do well he got me one point conceding two goals and then playing the full game so one point for Leroy Fur, not the best substitution but then we go on to the cam and um, this is still the midfielder though so he does get the clean sheet bonus at Napoli won for um, their 2-0 victory up against I'm not too sure where they played but they won 2-0 and Hamshik also got the two assists in those games so Hamshik Gets me 12 points. I'll briefly go through them. So he played the full game, which is two points. He then got two assists, which is six points. Then kept that clean sheet, which means it's 12 points in total. So Hamshik doing some great work for me there. On to the left center of the Now we've gone for Arturo Vidal. Now Vidal managed to get me two points. Didn't get on the score sheet. He didn't get any assists. And he didn't keep a clean sheet because Caceres got an own goal for Juventus. So two points is still okay. So um, hopefully he will do a little bit better though next week. Because I think he's going to be... A main starter for me in this series. Okay, so let's go on to the attackers now. We went for Bafatimi Gomez, Gary Hooper, and Adam Milana. So firstly, let's start with Adam Milana. He managed to get me two points. He played up against Hull City in their 1-0 victory. And you can see there his position says right mid, but I think he played in an attacker role. So I'm only going to give him two points and not the clean sheet bonus. But let me know in the comments down below if I should give Adam Milana the clean sheet bonus for next week. I'm not going to count it for this week because... I don't want to be cheating or anything like that. But Adam Milano gets me two points, of course, for playing over 60 minutes. So let's go on to the final two players of this team now. We have gone for Gary Hooper and uh, Bafatimi Gomez. So firstly, Gary Hooper, he really should have scored against West Ham. He had a one-on-one -on -one chance. He should have scored. He had a heading opportunity, which he probably should have scored as well. But he couldn't take those chances. And he only gets me two points for playing over 60 minutes. But then we've got Bafatimi Gomez, the final player of this squad. And he managed to get a 90th minute goal in Leon's 3-1 victory so um, he managed to get me where is he yeah he gets six points for me so pretty decent a goal is worth four points for attackers and of course goals are worth six points for defenders so that's why Dante does get me 11 points but that is basically the end guys of this episode we managed to get 60 points which is a pretty decent total but now let's go on to VFB he will be in this video and he's going to talk about how many points he managed to get so let's head on over to VFB and see how many points he managed to get hopefully it's less than mine Let's find out. Guys, BFB and here's a quick little run through of how my team did this week. In goal, I had Weidenfeller this week. He got me two points for playing 60 minutes, four points for keeping a clean sheet and also one additional point for making three saves. Also at right back, I had Branislav Ivanovic. He got me two points for playing 60 minutes, six points for scoring, however, minus one point 
for getting booked with a yellow card. Then at right centre back, I did have uh, Mertesacker here, two points for playing 60 minutes and four points for the clean sheet, very nicely done by him. Pretty much the same for Socrates, two points for playing 60 minutes and four points for the clean sheet. Then my captain Rausch got a glorious zero points, which doubled, will also be zero. So yeah, my captain did jack all this week. Now Thiago, he didn't play, so I was going to sub him off. Um, I'm going to put Javi Martinez on. He got two points for playing 60 minutes, also four points for the clean sheet, however, minus one for getting booked. Then at centre mid, we also have Vidal from Juventus. He only got me two points for playing 60 minutes, unfortunately. Barkley didn't play, I think Everton actually didn't play this week, but I'm not sure, that's just, I know, that's just tough luck, I guess, and also I could have subbed on Van der Vaart, but he got zero points as well, although he played, so he was really freaking dreadful. Then at right wing, we had Biabiani, who got two points for playing 60 minutes, and also three points for assisting a goal to Christian Molinaro, a former VFB Stuttgart player, by the way, just thought I'd mention that, because that was a bit of a piss take. Then at striker, we had Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. He did get 2 points for playing 60 minutes and 8 points for scoring 2 goals. That was an awesome performance. I should have just made him captain, man. And at left wing, we had Petroy, but he got 0 points, but I will sub him off for Farfan, who got more points than that. He got 2 points for playing 60 minutes, 3 points for an assist, however, minus 1 for getting booked. So, all in all, I got 52 points this week. I'm not quite sure how many Norwich up got, but, you know, I'm pretty confident he got more than that because my captain did jackal. Anyway guys, that's that. If I can keep this average, like if I can keep 50 points per week, I'm actually quite happy with that. But yeah, I'm rambling on and I'll see you next week. Peace. Okay guys, so as you heard there, he managed to get 52 points, which means we are victorious in this first game week, which is awesome. So, well played to myself, you know, it's all skill. Well, not really, it's all luck. But um, yeah, well played to all of my team members. Well played to Dante, especially. Neuer played well. Thiago Silva, Baffer, Timby Gomez getting six points for me. Good six points. Hamshik also doing well. Well played to Mycon, but Norwich players, you really let me down and I might have to transfer you guys out. But hope you guys have enjoyed this video. A like would be appreciated if you have enjoyed it. Check out VFB's full video and I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Give him a sub as well and check out all of his content. He does Pokemon as well on his channel. So that is it from me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys for maybe a squad builder tomorrow.